let us now discuss about the next special case of parallelogram or the next quadrilateral which is a rhombus now rhombus as you can see here is the figure a b c d and like i've mentioned earlier all the rhombuses are parallelograms these are special parallelograms so what is special about this parallelogram here all the four sides are equal so in simple words a parallelogram where all the four sides are equal can be taken as a rhombus right in case of rectangle we have seen a parallelogram which has got all the four angles as equal is a rectangle and a parallelogram which has got all the four sides equal is a rhombus so we can simply define it as a parallelogram uh, with all the four sides equal right a parallelogram with all the four sides equal is a rhombus so that brings us to the conclusion that ab is equal to bc is equal to cd is equal to da all right in any way since a rhombus is also a parallelogram the properties of parallelogram will hold true right what kind of properties properties related to sides and angles for example we know that in any parallelogram the opposite sides are parallel and they are equal here anyway we have discussed that the opposite sides are equal right ad is equal to bc ad is equal to bc ab is equal to cd ab is equal to cd so that property is anyway a uh, true in case of rhombus what's the other one the opposite sides are parallel here also the opposite sides are parallel right i can say uh, ab is parallel to cd and ad is parallel to bc right so that's again about uh, the points that we have discussed in parallelogram right the basic Uh, definition of parallelogram opposite sides are parallel and they are equal here since all the sides are equal we say ab equals to bc equals to cd equals to da now what about angles here angles are like in case of parallelograms what do we see in case of parallelograms uh, adjacent angles add up to 180 degrees so here also the adjacent angles add up to 180 degrees so angle a plus angle b equals to angle b plus angle c is equal to angle c plus angle d is equal to angle d plus angle a and all this will be adding up to 180 and since this is true we can say that the opposite angles are equal we have already uh, discussed about this right if you take these two terms or these two uh, expressions here angle b and angle b gets cancelled so angle a equals to angle c if you take these two angle c and angle c gets cancelled angle b equals to angle d so a is equal to c and b is equal to d which means the opposite angles are equal so in case of rhombus the opposite angles are equal angle a is equal to angle c and angle Uh, b equals to angle d right these are again properties of parallelogram right all the properties of parallelogram should be satisfied in case of rhombus as well now let us talk about the diagonals what do you see the diagonals ac and bd intersect at the point o now in case of rhombus the diagonals bisect each other diagonals bisect each other means what the diagonals uh, intersect at the point o and the point o divides each diagonal into two equal halves right so we can say ao equals to oc and uh, bo equals to od all right so that's about the diagonal there ao equals to oc and bo equals to od let me tell you the diagonals are not equal right in case of rhombus the diagonals are not equal but they bisect each other so ao equals ao equals to oc and other diagonal bo equals to od so the point o divides the diagonals into two equal halves now another important uh, point to be noted Uh, with respect to diagonals here in case of rhombus is that the diagonals bisect each other they intersect at the point o and uh, they form right angles right the diagonals bisect each other at right angles making right angles which means these angles here are all right angles this is 90 degrees this angle is 90 degrees this also is 90 degrees and the last one also is 90 degrees so the bi diagonals bisect each other at right angles which means these four parts that are formed are right angle triangles so you can understand A rhombus, uh, the diagonals of rhombus will divide it into four right angle triangles because each is like a triangle, three sides, and each has got a right angle. So there are four right angle triangles. Here. So important point that the diagonals bisect at right angles in case of a rhombus. And uh, the obvious point here is that all the rhombuses are parallelograms. Why? It's a special case of parallelogram. But then all the parallelograms are not rhombus. Which parallelograms are rhombus? Those parallelograms where the four sides are equal become a rhombus. right so all the rhombus are parallelograms but the converse is not true all the parallelograms are not rhombus all right so which is a very straight point here because 
rhombus, rectangle, or special cases of parallelogram. Now area and perimeter again, you know all the four sides are equal. So if you take this side as A, 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 A and A, right? All the four sides are equal. So let's say each side is A. So A, A, uh, the perimeter can be taken as 4A. How about the area? Area like I've told you earlier, base into height. So if you can find out the height here, H, the height is H, let's say, right? The vertical uh, distance between the two parallel sides, right? A, B and C, D. the height is H, the area can be taken as A into H. Right? Or otherwise, area can be taken as uh, some uh, product of two parallel uh, adjacent sides into the sine of angle included. Right? So, area can be taken as A into H or it can be taken as A into A, which is A square into sine of this angle. Right? Let's say this angle is angle B. So, sine of uh, angle B, whatever is the angle there. All right? Or a special formula for the area is half D1 D2, half into D1 D2. What are D1 and D2? The two diagonals there, right? D1, let's say this is diagonal 1, the complete diagonal and this is diagonal 2. So, area can also be taken as half uh, into D1, D2. So, the product of two diagonals divided by 2. Actually, it is half into D1 into D2 into sine of the angle uh, between the diagonals. But you know that the angle between the diagonals is 90 degrees and sine 90 is 1. So, we are left with half D1, D2. So, different ways of uh, measuring the area of a rhombus. So, that's about the uh, quadrilateral rhombus and its properties.